Okay, folks, um, this is our weekly video, and we're going to do something a little different today, Ed. We have got a friend of mine, an actor who's gone through a lot of hardship, um, who, who I'm going to ask a few questions to, and I want him to tell his story. His name is John Craig. He'll be in shortly. And the reason I have him in, you know, he's not a famous actor, he's not, you know, but he's got a lot of insight into this business and how to approach this business. Um, his story is pretty incredible. Watch the rest of the video to see what his story is. And, but you will be shocked. If you're not shocked, I don't know, then you didn't listen. Um, you'll be shocked at this man's story, at his gratitude, at his passion, at his excitement about this business. Um, so yeah, then, you know, we talk about this, you know, being passionate about what you're doing, be, you know, grateful for everything you've got and all that kind of stuff. Here's a guy who actually lives it. And when I became friends with him and heard his story, I really wanted him to come in and tell you guys his story. So at the end of this, we're going to add his interview on and um, we'll see you guys next week, man. So John, welcome. Thank hey. you for coming in. What's up? Bro? <laughs> this guy here. Yeah. This guy here. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, seriously, this guy here. I got a, I got a Legit. job today is to keep this keep this fucking guy focused a little bit, okay? Because he can meander all over the place. Yes. Um, so you, thank you for coming in, and um, I really want to do this to to show other actors. Um, we all go through hardships. It's a tough business, blah, 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 okay? But nobody who's gone through what you've gone through. Nobody that I know. Yeah, well, we okay. all have our own road, you know That's what right. I mean? So like, mine was a little different. Let's, so. go back, let's go back a few years. You were a working actor. Yeah, go back to the 90s. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was killing it. Yeah, you were regular on a series. You had co-stars, uh, yeah. guest stars, Leading all kinds of stuff. a feature with an Oscar winner, okay. uh, all and kinds then, of stuff. And then... Um, <laughs> then you, <laughs> then you the fell journey. into... Then you fell into life that I lead. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, too much alcohol, yep. drugs, yep. All, all, the excesses. Okay? all the excesses, all the excesses that this industry has plenty of, by the yeah. way, get caught up in it. It's yeah. right there, right there uh, for So you. for a guy who was, you know, had a successful acting career and then fell into all this and then he got really smacked around, man, arrested, thrown in jail, prison, 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 not jail, prison. There yeah. is a difference. Yeah, there is a difference. Slight Jails. difference between jail yeah. and prison. Jail for overnight DUIs. Yeah. Okay. You got thrown in prison. Man. Yeah. I Although mean, if you can make it through LA County jail, prison's a breeze. Okay. Just know that. Good job, Becca. Outstanding. Um, <laughs> nice. You think they've been on set before. <laughs> Existing reality. <laughs> exactly. Um, what year did he get thrown in prison? Uh, I went in in 2013 and I got out in 2015. So I did just a little bit of time. No, you had two, two solid years in prison. Yeah. Okay, and that's devastating, man. Can, can any of us imagine being thrown in prison for two years? Wow. And you know, he had a good career going. You think he'd come out of prison bitter, angry, depressed, hmm. um, but he had a good attitude about it. Well, you cycle uh, through all of that, you I do. think. You, you have go through to, all that. You know, I mean, like, but, you, but you had a good attitude. You, you actually told me you were pretty glad it happened because it forced you to straighten your life out. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, you come to a place in life, you know, I mean, where you've got to, like, really kind of make some, some serious choices. And, you know, when I was on the inside, I'm at Wasco State Prison in 2014, and I'm on a level four yard getting processed <laughs> okay. in, and okay. dudes are getting shot. I mean, dudes are getting stabbed. I'm like, I need to change my life. I need to make some decisions. But you knew you were coming out in two years. Yeah, I knew. I see. I have a day exactly. You had a you had a release I, date. I, I did. So you did some work in prison to to straighten your life out. A lot. Yeah. To have a to reflect upon all the shit you've done and gone through. Yeah. Um, and then he did something really cool. You know, the SAG after a union for all the shit it gets. Um, Tell, tell the folks what happened when you were, because you were a SAG after, yeah, you were so, a SAG member. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, I was working, carrying. I was 90s, I was working at the top of the, the, the game, you know. Um, so I made up my mind in prison, you because know, in between all that, I ran life support machines. I used to be a respiratory therapist before I went to prison. I knew I wasn't going back to respiratory therapy because the state is not going to license you uh, as a convicted felon if you're into prison. <laughs> they don't want you near patients, imagine that. And, um, which makes sense. And so I decided I was going to get back into the Screen Actors Guild. I was going to get back into acting. So I wrote SAG-AFTRA from prison. I wrote them a letter from the dorm in prison. And they wrote me back. 
which was incredible. What was your letter? What, what did you write that, in your well, This first letter, I just said, hey, um, you know, am I lost at my life? I'm, I'm interested in getting back into acting. It's been like, at that point, it's been like 18 years, 17, 18 years um, since the 90s. I really would like to try to get back. What's the steps? What do I owe? Da, 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 da. They wrote me back in prison. They said, yeah, well, yeah, you owe us some money, buddy. It's been a while. You've got a bunch of arrears and, you know, but we got a, we got a great payment plan. And you can get straight. <laughs> or they said, here's what you can do. And, and um, this is, I don't know exactly how it is. You'd have to check with SAG, but, but they, the, the way it was explained to me is, you know, one time in your career, if you fall into arrears, you can write a letter. You can write a hardship letter. Let them know what happened. Let them break it down to them. You know, just say, hey, like, this is what happened for 18, 19 months a year for me, 18 years. Why I haven't paid my dues. Why I haven't paid my I'm dues. Why I'm, I'm in bad standing. They said, but do it right because you get one shot at that. You know what I mean? And if, if, you, if you fuck it up, you don't get it right, then it doesn't matter. And so I said, okay, cool. I got this letter back in prison, which was funny. All the guys were like, you've been the shacker? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> the mail call was funny. And, um, and I got out, and that was my first order of business, to write this letter to the SAG after. And so I took my time with it. I spent 30 days, and I was just very, very honest and very candid with it. Because that's, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. All right? Like, you know, you don't think AJ's heard all the bullshit yeah. that all y'all can come with or anybody can come with in this just business. Just be yourself, man. Just be yourself, be 100%, and be man, because yep. that's the deal. And that's going to cut through all the bullshit. And so I just said, hey, look, I fucked my life up, man. I uh, Drugs and alcohol, I screwed it all up. I'm trying to get it right. Um, you know, and getting back in the Screen Actors Guild would be a big part of that. And so that, that was it. I said, I'm willing to come down. And I, here's some people I hold myself accountable to, you guys can check with. I'm willing to come down to the union and volunteer time for leniency. And so it took 90 days and they wrote me back. And the very beginning letter was like, yeah, John, that's cool. Well, you owe us 2,800 bucks. I was like, damn, thanks so much for that idea. <laughs> and, uh, they, they, and they went on and I said, but however, we care for the, the board. They, have a, they actually have a board, an RRC, I think they call it, the RRC board. And they, they carefully looked at your request. And uh, we like where your head is at. We'll let you back in for 200 bucks. For 200 bucks, they let you back into the union. 200 bucks, I got back into the Screen Actors Guild. After how cool 20 is years, that? Man? They dropped 2,800 okay. bucks. That's how, insane. Yeah, how cool is that? That's insane. That's the union we got because they really want you to work. It really is good. And, you know, I, I'm just here to say this. So if you want to come at me and talk to me about Fight Corps and all that other stuff, miss me with it because the union is, is incredible. And, uh, and all the work you want to really be doing anyways is union. Sorry, guys. Yeah. That's no, just, no, that's no. just and, where it is. And you were a union actor. Exactly. You were a union actor. Okay, so, so now you. You're jazz sitting in prison, saying they're going to let you back in. Well, this was before prison. This was this was after prison. I got out. I didn't okay. write them that letter until I got out. Okay. But you know, I paroled to a parole-funded house. I had nothing when I got out. I paroled with the bag of stuff I had from prison, and that was it. I lost everything when I went to the joint, and that's my fault. I don't look for pity. That's on me. You know yeah. what I mean? But the bottom line is, it didn't make it any easier. I got out with a bag full of stuff that I collected in prison. My buddy, I got a buddy named Jeff Coleman, who was able to get a few things out of my apartment, but I lost it all. A car, everything is all gone. Started over on parole-funded housing, having to show up to. What's you know, the first step you do when you're starting it over? Well, that was it. Like, like, and I mean, you know, we talk about your acting. Okay? Well, your personal life is still a mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> um, where'd you get two hundred bucks to pay SAG? Oh, that you know what's crazy is, uh, is I got out. I was on parole funded housing, and I had general relief. I paid to get back into the union with general relief. I, that's that's I literally. You, you look you can, at me like can, I should you, have been in prison. You, you, I don't no, no, know no. General relief is like you can be uh, anybody right now watching this. Like, if you fall on hard times, it doesn't matter. You don't have to get welfare. You don't have to get. Um, you don't have to get uh, uh, food stamps or, or necessarily unemployment, but you can get general relief. They'll help you out. They'll give you a couple hundred bucks a month. Like, that's what they do. Like, like it's the bottom of the bottom. I literally got back into the union with the most bottom of the bottom public assistance that I could get into. Okay, so now you're, trying, get to, it right. now you're trying to keep your life straight and narrow and yeah. get back into society. Yeah. Okay, so there's the whole personal side of it. You've got to get an apartment. You've got to do blah, blah, oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but uh, we're not interested in that. That's, that's good, enough challenge. A, yeah, that's Welcome a great to L.A. Story. That's a great story. <laughs> but professionally... What did you start doing to try and get back into the acting business? Just got right up into the union, like literally. That's like, Joined the union. I, I got the and union. Then what got, got the next? union right. Then I started taking advantage of everything. Because you don't had. have an you don't have an agent, I, manager, nothing. No, at I this agent, point. no manager, nothing. No money. I lost all my tape, all the stuff I'd done from the everything. I had to like collect. Thank God we're in the you know we have the internet now. Yeah. This wouldn't happen ten years ago. I couldn't get all my stuff back together. But I literally got right up into the union. The union let me back in, so I figured I'm going to go get close to the union. So I went down, um, went to all the stuff I could go that's for free, took advantage. Of, uh, this you took advantage. Uh, and folks, you, if, if you're act union actors, man, SAG AFTRA has so, so many much. great programs, okay? This great seminars, right. great stuff. So you took advantage of all that, reintroduced yourself to other actors right, and right. The, the community, basically. Exactly. And just, you're back. I knew that it was going to take time, you know. I mean, I, you know, the other and thing that the, is you got to have a, you got to have a, a, you know, you can't just expect everything now. You know, it's going to take, I, I, I came out and I knew, that, I knew that it was going to take at least five years just to get up and running again yeah, the patience. way I needed to be. Uh, we know? just, I, I did a video just the other day about it being a marathon and not a sprint. Right. You know, be patient, be res resilient. Right. Um, but, and the business that changed 
by yeah. the time you came out. Right? Oh yeah! Oh my God! It's so different. Night, night and day. I feel like I feel like it's like Encino Man. I feel like I just got dug up, and I'm like, it's a whole different industry. And they're like, what's this? What do you mean self submit? How did you do that? That's what your agent does. <laughs> headshots are color now. Yeah. Like it was just like that. It was insane. Yeah. Um, so you need headshots. You needed you needed to get your footage and make right. a reel. Right. You needed to get on Actors Access right. and all that. And uh, dig up all my old footage from all the stuff I've done. Stuff and get back in touch with old contacts right. and all that that you which is had, key. Which is key is relationships and yes. being honest with them and That's being yourself. Um, and uh, the people you got in touch with were very receptive to you being back in the business, being well, back in the community. I'll tell you where it started. Like it really started like this. The guy who introduced you to me, Kevin McCorkle, good dude. I awesome. Met him. Awesome guy, met him down, he's down there, if, you, if you're a union actor, you just joined the union, you get a chance, go listen to Kevin's talk, okay? And, and I'll tell you, it all started, we started with gratitude, it started with gratitude. Really, that's where it started. So you went to one of Kevin's seminars. Yep, and, he, and I heard him talk about gratitude, because, uh, and I hope he doesn't mind me sharing this, but he went through a life struggle with cancer. Yeah. And like literally, um, it just, he, he just had this whole perspective on gratitude. And that's where I've been since I, you know, before I got out of prison, I realized yeah. I'm alive, I got a second chance, and I got nothing to lose. And that's the other thing. You um, literally had nothing to nothing, lose. I'm, I'm alive, I got a second chance, and well, that's why except, I'm sitting right here. Except freedom, you could go except back. Except freedom, well, a few poor choices, that's yeah. all it takes. But you know, it's funny, we're all just a few poor, poor choices one away from prison. One poor choice here. away. Here, here, and, 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 and it's very easy to be one poor choice away from yeah. the joint. Um, so you went to Kevin's Went seminar. to Kevin's class, and immediately, like, when he started talking, I was like, this guy, he gets it, the gratitude. And so right after the seminar, I got talking to him and just got close to Kevin. Kevin's a good dude. He introduced me to you. Yeah. You know, got to, got to hanging out with Kevin and studying with Kevin, and um, he introduced me to you. And, and, you know, it's funny how it's really, at the end of the day, it started with the gratitude, and that's what it stayed, you know? Um, then you started, you enrolled in acting class. Yeah, got in class. Because uh, he, here's the thing is, you know, yeah, I've done a bunch of stuff in the 90s. Yeah, I've starred in feature films, leads in features. I've done recurring roles on series. I've done all that. But the rest needs to get knocked off. I don't think I'm all that. I, I mean, who am I? I mean, you, yeah, you got to get back, back trained fucking, again, get, get that back muscle the, working back again. Back in the gymnasium, man, shooting the free throws. You know yeah, what I mean? So, absolutely. Uh, and then we met, and now. Uh, and this guy. <laughs> Leo. Not, um, I'd, there was something when we met. Uh, yeah, we became fast friends. We became really good friends, and there was something about him that I wanted to help him. I well, wanted and, to help you. Well, here's the crazy thing, bro, and, and, I, and I bring it back down to this, like, because you know, we did become fast friends, and it's yeah. really, it's a trip. Um, you know, it's just, I think you've been around long enough, and I don't think I'm all special, I don't think I'm anybody, but it's, I, just try to, I just try to keep it real, bro, like, and you're able to tell you, I think you got a pretty good bullshit detector. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know 30, what I mean? 30 plus years. 30 plus years of, 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 of actors, actors, no <laughs> doubt, coming in here like, hey, AJ, you know, like, <laughs> I'm the biggest thing. I just got here from Toledo. Right. Yeah, That's I know right. you are. That's all yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All from Wampo. Where I'm from I said, I'm, and I'm gonna fucking show exactly from fucking Soledad, fucking CTF. Here's the one we, yard. The the day we met, um, I just knew there was something genuine about this dude, um, and we were sitting outside and having a conversation, and right away he told me everything about. His life, I mean, about the prison, he never hid anything. He wasn't ashamed of anything. I'm sure he's not proud of stuff. No. But he's taken these really bad experiences and made something positive for his life today. Oh, yeah. Um, where was I going with this? I forgot. And yeah, there was just something very genuine about him. And the, the, and I, would, I, I meet actors every day, man, who have not been in your shoes, who've been pretty good with stuff. And they're not as happy as you, and not with the gratitude you have, and the appreciation you have for life and people, and um, and money. This man's struggling. I mean, he's absolutely struggling. Um, you told me the story. Repeat it when you started getting all your actors' access. Oh, stuff so check this together. out. So just I just so now, we did we, we did headshots. We got your reel together. We got stuff, your clips man. together. And, you know, and, and now you got to get back online. And I learned that that's the one thing is that that, that has changed in the business. Boy, they they are more places to, to get your money. And there's plenty of people in this business to get your money. I know that too. Like they, you do well to meet guys like this who aren't going to bullshit you and be straight with you about what's going down. Because there's plenty of people that will say, oh yeah, fuck yeah, you're the greatest thing. Just sign here and, and your credit card number, please swipe. There's plenty of those guys in this place. Felons get credit cards? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this guy's not one of them. You know, and I'm not at a credit card stealing thing. I'm not I'm convicted felon. I don't do uh, that anymore. So yeah, Actors Access. So now you got and now you got to pay for everything. Oh my God. So LA costing, Actors all Access, that stuff. all that stuff. And so, and so I said, it took a while. It's taken like literally just saving and saving and saving and saving and, 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 and scrimping and not being able to. And I had a little windfall come. And it's so funny because all of it combined, Actors Access, uh, IMDb Pro, what's the other two? Uh, Casting Network, Casting Frontier, all of them, right? Had to get them all up and running this month, which is funny. Just did it a couple days ago. It came to $423. I had $423.75 on my card. It's done. I got, it's done. It's bro. done. It's done. Folks, here's... <laughs> That's how you, you know, do it. I hear this 
I hear this every day from actors. Oh, when I have the money, I'll do this. Or when I have the money, I'll do that. Um, you have the money if you put it towards your business. That's it. If you're not buying seven dollar lattes and you're yeah, not exactly. going, you know, you, you can't drink anymore. Oh, so no, that's, I don't that's drink out. or fucking, you know, yeah, any that's other stuff. Out, yeah. Um, you're working, you're scrounging money, you're selling plasma for money. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing like, in other words, you know, it's like you hustle, you do what you got to do. I've ground, like, since I've been out of prison, I, and I, again, I ran life support machines before prison for 50 bucks an hour. I got out, I was grinding dog food for minimum wage, grinding meat. Was that your first job? That was my first job out of prison, grinding dog food, literally taking all the cuts of meat you can't eat, but they'll feed to your dog, and grinding it down, like, just a bloody mess at the end of a 12 hour day, like, literally just grinding meat all day. Minimum wage. Minimum wage, grinding away. And just doing it, and that saved that up, got my place. But you know, you were at happy, all, you had at, a job. Happy, and knew that this was coming, bro. I'm like, this isn't, this isn't like an accident. Like, I'm not accidentally here. You know what I mean? Like, I knew that, okay, there's, there's, there's a goal at the end of this. This isn't just, I'm, oh man, I'm stuck here grinding dog food. This yeah, is but good there is good. a goal, but there's also a process. A process. Where, and you're enjoying that process. And you have to enjoy the process. Yeah. If you don't enjoy the process, whoever you are, whatever you are, and you're in this business, you're not enjoying the process, get the fuck out, because life is too short and it'll be miserable. When did and you find out life was too short? Sitting in Wampa? Oh, dude, like, yeah, you know, like, seriously, <laughs> you know, with you. no, seriously, that, that, that'll help you because you have nothing but time to really just focus. Like, it was the most crazy introspective experience. Like, I couldn't, dude, I went into prison, a drummer came out a better drummer. Go figure that. Like, yeah, I ended yeah, up, yeah. I ended you up, were I, in the prison band. I ended up in me, a right? yard that had a full on band room. <laughs> and once they saw it, once funny, once they saw I could play drums, the dude's like, you're the drummer. I was like, okay, I'm the drummer. Like, <laughs> yeah, um, that's how prison right, works. So, you, you finally got all your online stuff profiles ready right. and you've had a lot of help from friends and oh a lot God. of help from people right um people have been very receptive i mean you've contacted your old agent right. your old um, adam leadline yeah incredible guy yeah in fact uh, we had a seminar with him here that right. you came to that's, and uh, that's how i got back again in touch it's, with adam. it's uh, and the important thing here for people to realize is it's relationships okay you had relationships with people and you still now are maintaining them once you came out of right, prison right. um and who doesn't want to help somebody who's got a second chance, man? Oh, dude. And who's excited and who's passionate and who wants to do this. Dude, I'm, you, know? I, you know, and it's not just about me. This isn't, and this whole thing isn't about me coming out and coming back to Hollywood. I've got two kids, all right? Um, and they deserve better than what I've given them. Yeah. And so this is a big part of it, brother. I mean, I've got, I've got you know what I mean? I, it's, it's about really, and then it, not even that, it's about balancing things out, man. Like, I did a lot of dirty shit. I've been, I've been a dirtbag. I've done, you know, I've hurt a lot of people. And balance that out. How do you do that? Get better. Get to a position where you're better, you're successful, and, and then you can go back and maybe right some wrongs, you know? Every single penny you have, and you don't have a lot right now, but you will one day, is going towards your acting career. Yeah, we're getting down. Like you know, that's, whether, that's you, whether you're working two jobs, three jobs, or whatever you need. I'm hustling. I, I work, yeah, it's funny, I work for Flappers Comedy Club. Flappers is a great club, by the way. If you want to go see some comedy, <laughs> come talk to me. Call the club, ask for John. I, you wonder why you're so likable. That, that's it, right? <laughs> but uh, I, I go out in front of that club and hustle hustle, you know, uh, people in at $2 a pop if I have to. Like, if I'm short on cash. The, the club has been a blessing to me. They've literally been like you, bro. They've been one of these hands up. Like, I cannot say enough about Flappers Comedy Club. Dave and Barb and everybody over there. Josh. Everybody at that club is incredible. Because um, they know my situation too, and they didn't have to help me out. They could be like, ah, this crazy goatee parolee. You know, they like they took me in and really helped me out, and they've been a blessing. Um, so you stand outside balking at people. I, I, when my every cash person goes in, my cash get two gets, bucks. Yeah, if my cash gets low, I go out and hustle people into the club for two bucks a head. I'll do whatever. I'm donating plasma. Whatever it takes, man. Like, you do whatever it takes. Legally. Legally. <laughs> Legally. Okay. we got to add Let's that Just in. go ahead and put that disclaimer in there for the parole people watching or whatever. <laughs> Legally. But um, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, like, you, you know, I think the best thing that I can say here is something that I've never said that is, is a quote from John Wooden. And John Wooden's quote is this, and, and, I, and this is great, because everybody watches, we all think we're talented. You should have talent. If, you're not, if you don't think you're talented, you're in this business, get the fuck out, dude. You need to have some talent in this town. Don't fuck around. But the bottom line is, talent is cheaper than table salt. And that's not me, that's John Wooden. And John Wooden- Talent is cheaper, cheaper, cheaper than, than table salt. So, mm -hmm. And what he's saying, and that's John Wooden, that's the, one of the greatest coaches of all time. John Wooden. Yeah. Um, and, and what he's saying is he's got talented dudes. Ta he sees talent every day. There's plenty of talented actors that are way better than me. Guys that can do what you do better than you. But they don't got the grind. They don't got the hustle. They don't got the heart. Then you don't have that stick. The patience. The, the patience. Resiliency. The stick to itiveness, uh, Resilience. Because this, this industry will kick your ass. It'll shit on you a little bit. It'll, it'll, put, it'll put you in place for sure. You come out here thinking you're big shit. I'm LA born and bred, so I can say this because I've seen you all come and go. All right, and the good ones stay, and the ones with all that, they, the resilience, they stay, they stick, and they make it happen. Um, you know what I mean? Because that's what it takes. That's what it takes, you know what I mean? You, and you gotta enjoy the ride. If you're not enjoying the ride, you might as well just fucking stop, dude. Just stop, because it's, it's, it'll be miserable otherwise. Yeah, absolutely, you gotta enjoy the journey, man. And that's in everything, that's in just everything. in life. Exactly. Uh, what's next for you? 
Um, next thing is, uh, get, is auditions, brother. Next thing is, is to get a theatrical agent. That's what we're working on now. I have a commercial agent, thank God. I am uh, with Matt Taylor over at Robertson Taylor. Uh, he took me on. We're going to play off some fun, uh, Matt. We're going to do some things. We're going to do a little something. But uh, um, commercially, it's changed, man. The whole game has changed, too. So Are there still a lot of agents out here who you knew or casting directors when you were still working? Yes, and, that, and, and that's the next thing that I'm really working on is, again, there's the Mary Jo Slater's out there. She cast me as a leading feature. There's um, you know, the Tony Sepulveda's out there. You know, And it's to re rekindle these things. And there's a way to do it. Like, again, you know, networking is a kind of a shitty word. I, like Kevin says that. He doesn't like the word networking. It's just true. It's like, it's the relationships, the bro. Relationships. Like, people, that they, they've seen you. They know you're decent. Because, you know, half the deal is not just if you've got that talent. Because, of course, you got the talent. You're in the room. <laughs> you didn't have the talent. You wouldn't be in the room. But are you a decent person? Are you the person we want to have on a set for fucking 16 hours? Do we want to listen to your book? Do you want to listen to me fucking rambling for 16 hours on a set? Not me. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so you have to make that decision really quick. I like you. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. You have to decide, is this this fucking guy? Do we want him fucking six hours and six days a week, eight, 16 hours a set? A lot of that stuff. And, and, and if you got proof of performance, Kevin talks about that a lot too. You know, if you got proof of performance, they see, oh shit, he can actually swing. She can actually swing. Yeah, man. That's so it. you're getting back in touch with old people. The people getting, yeah. And people have been receptive. People have been. They good have. For you. And you know, and I haven't, like, really, that's that whole reaching out to, like, the casting directors and all that stuff. That's the next thing. Because, again, I, my whole deal is make sure base is paid, rent's paid, bills are paid, all that. Yeah, and then and, take and, these and things. And your tools are ready, you know, and, your and, actors access. Exactly. Because the that. main thing that I didn't do that I, that's, I think, a mistake a lot of people make, and, and, and this can happen when you listen to outside voices that are not voices that you should be listening to. This is a guy I'll listen to. You gotta be careful which voices you let in, man. You better have an inner locus of control. You better know what the fuck you're about and what you're doing. And you better be very careful which outside voices you let in because people will steer you in every which direction in this town and they aren't. They don't have your best interest. Trust and believe in that. So, you know what I mean? You have to be very careful and take your step. It's just been step very, very like, okay, boom, this is solid. Don't step back into this business. That's what I was trying to say. Don't step back in without being prepared or at least without I'm doing some work to be prepared, you know? Yeah. Because, because you're gonna get one shot back in the room. You're gonna get one shot with that guy. You're gonna get one chance to make that first impression, and you better be ready, man. That's it. So like, don't come stepping in like I got this because I'm a fucking I'm a wonder kid and everybody yeah. loves me. Like that fucking yeah, okay. Um, you're you're awesome, man. And all I can do is wish you the best. And I know I know things are gonna work out for you. It's AJ, man. You know, I appreciate things it. Love are gonna you, absolutely man. work out. So this folks, dude. Um, <laughs> Folks, look what he's gone through and look how happy and excited and passionate this man is, man. Um, he doesn't have two nickels to rub together yet, but I guarantee you soon you will. Um, and I can't, I, I can't thank you enough for coming in here, thank talking you, to actors, thank talking you. to them about it, because I don't think too many people have, know anyone who's gone through what you're going through. And how positive and great you are, man, you know, so. Well, you know, and I'll, and I'll leave yeah. it with this too. That's the last thing that I heard was, was change your thoughts and you change your destiny, man. So you where go. you're thinking, See? where your head is at. See, prison gets you, you know? to get deep, man. Yeah, you know? As you prison. think, you know, you're gonna be. So if you're, if you're miserable, you're gonna stay um, miserable no matter how much money yeah. you got. Fucking love you, bro. You're love you too, awesome. brother. Appreciate okay. you, man. Got it, man, good luck. If you like what we did, hit the subscribe button or leave a comment, share the video. Um, have a great week. Boom, and...